Let's start. For sulfates, uh, uh, as we know, this is the negative log of the and for sulfonylation, uh, we need certain things. For example, first of all, there should be a pH meter, this one, and uh, then a melting cylinder. Uh, then we need a glass speaker. Uh, then uh, also washing water. Of course, we need soil. And uh, to standardize uh, uh, the pH meter, first uh, we need uh, to have the buffers. Uh, we have a buffer of pH uh, 4, a buffer of pH 7, and buffer of uh, pH 10. So uh, to standardize the pH meter, first we will uh, uh, do this with uh, different pH buffers. For example, first we will try this. Uh, with pH 4 buffer, we will dip this into the solution and we will check the pH and then by using the knob we will adjust pH 4. Uh, now B and then uh, with pH 7, UD uh, 2 buffers are enough but we can also go for R3. And uh, then we will make uh, 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 so, uh, soil and water uh, mixture and uh, so there are different ratios so we can use with the uh, 1 to 1 or 1 to 2.5. We need uh, about if we need 50 gram soil, we need uh, maybe we can add 100 ml water. We will uh, stir and uh, we will thoroughly mix and then we will uh, dip this in. Uh, this is the uh, rod, uh, measuring rod of pH meter. We will dip into the solution and then we will uh, check. And after uh, uh, we will wait for a uh, few seconds uh, uh, so that the pH should be uh, reading to be stabilized and uh, after completing this suppose it is a pH 7.54 if you see and after this uh, we have to uh, again wash this and dry it and uh, keep it for the next procedure. So this is all about the pH which is a, a very important uh, practical uh, regarding the nutrients availability and uh, many other things. Okay, thank you.